this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lufia 2 Rise of the Sith Scrolls. I hate assassins. They killed me last time. And from what I've heard, their terminal blow ability is, because it's considered a physical attack, it actually has a much higher uh, success rate than, say, the instant death spells. Kind of like Lufia 1, where they were very weak. But in this game, the weapons are actually pretty darn accurate, which is why they're really good in the uh, ancient cave there. But, uh, yeah, apparently, these guys are weak to light, if Flash will ever get up off her ass and do anything against these guys. But, uh, well, they got a bit of HP. Also notice that Lexus uh, Figaro uh, has multi-target enemies. So that's pretty nice. That's why I didn't buy another weapon for him earlier there. Now, down here, we want to get down to those lower left steps there, but let's just pick that up and go down here! Oh man, more assassins. Well, first we gotta complete that bridge there. There we go. And I'm gonna have to deal with those assassins again. Hold on a sec. Let's go down, get my hook shot ready, hold R. There we go, otherwise he'll surprise me. Try to. Can I go one battle with assassins without getting killed? Where can I buy more of those regains? Well, anyway, we got some restoration tiles, so you know what that means. Oh, no boss fight. Since when can vampires teleport? I've never seen that as one of their mystical abilities. Thanks, Flash. Thanks a whole bunch. Thanks for using your bolt attack when there's only one of them left! Oh, I hate this dungeon so much. Oh, well. But anyway, uh, what we got to do here is we got to move these blocks around a little bit. So let's go do that. Push that one down there. There we go. Got to make a nice little arrow because there's all these uh, switches on the floor there. Unlike the arrow that we had to form in that other dungeon where they didn't tell you. Hey, get over here. Oh man, I'm just so angry at this dungeon today. Be warned, ladies, Evil H.C. Bailey is on the street today. I noticed that ever since the assassins showed up, all the enemies that are weak to light have shown up. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep the undead ring and keep Flash around for a while. Well, at least they didn't kill Lexus this time. Alright, finally made it to... Oh, no, not this room. Okay, there's a lot of these guys around here, so I'm just going to kill them all off screen and I'll be right back. This is a long dungeon, folks. I wonder if this is the longest one in the game. It might be. I mean, I know there's some not-so-short dungeons, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe the... well, we'll see. But anyway, let's... Okay, good. We're finally done with this dungeon. Game! How dare you trick me like that with a save point? Ah, there we go. Finally found the, found the guy. Uh, I don't think so. Hold it right there! Okay. Oh no. Not this music. You know when this music plays, something stupid is going to happen. I, I suppose so. Ma the Magical Wife. Yeah, that's a dumb name. <laughs> who are? Who do you guys think you are? Power Rangers? They're like Power Rangers, uh, posing before they take on the enemy. For boss time! Okay, these guys are actually really easy compared to everything else we've been fighting up to now. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not even going to bother having Lexus use a spell at this point because he's got his uh, wrench that he just, I guess, throws at all the enemies. What is it, like a boomerang or something like that? Those were really good in the Dragon Quest games once they started multi-targeting. They didn't multi-target in Dragon Warrior 4, right? I mean, the original. The, the NES version? I don't think so. I've been thinking about making that into an LP, but, uh... Well, we'll see. I can't seem to get it to work on my computer too well. But, uh, yeah, you might want to heal up there. These guys only have about 400 HP each, and, uh, well, maybe I should have swapped in Blaze, because they have no elemental weakness or anything I care about. Oh my goodness! Did I learn that? 
Oh, I didn't know I learned that. There you go. That must have happened at the end of a battle and I just forgot. But yeah, that replaces Sacred Song. So uh, yeah, Flash can heal everyone now. All right. So I guess the only one I'm missing is the one that I don't care about. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the Restoration one thing. Eventually, I could get the multi-targeting version of that one, but, uh, well, I guess I don't have to now. There we go. Yeah! Got him. Now give us back that ruby icon. Or they can just run away. Santa Claus? No. No, just an ordinary Klaus. See that little platform in the lower right there? Remember that for later, viewers. Can't do anything with that right now. It's another source of grief for me. Oh, I hate that dungeon. Thank God we're done with it. <laughs> oh, it's a fine dungeon. It, it, you know, it's just... Uh, it, has a, it has some annoying bits. But it's a good kind of annoying. You know, because it's actually remotely challenging for a change. Unlike the rest of the game. They got interesting puzzles and everything like that, you know? So, yeah, it's alright. Alright, there we go. Uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're gonna get a free end rest. Well, there we go. I suppose we, we deserve a good rest. Why not? Alright, looks like we saved... Well, more of the world, maybe not the entire world. What do you mean by that? Well, there was that Gratz kingdom. Well, I'm sure we'll never bother with them again. They'll never bother us again. Ah. Wouldn't they just spot the fake again? And yes, I know, viewers, a lot of you pointed out to me that there's a couple people who, if you talk to them around here, Two of, like, the 50 people that are around here will say, Hey, uh, couldn't you just make another one? Or something like that. And that's supposed to be your hint to go back to Clemento and get it fixed. Or get, or have them make the fake for you. That's the only hint in the entire game. Or, or something like that. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't buy that. Huh. Apparently they can't spot that it's a fake. Well, there you go. But uh, now we get, need to get through the water gate. All the people say, yay, yay, uh, it's a new era of peace or something like that. So, Huh. How is it that uh, princes and princesses can only, well, marry, you know, other royalty, you know? I mean, wouldn't they run out of royalty without inbreeding at some point in time? You know, I, I don't know. I would think they'd run out of princes and princesses sooner or later. Well, anyway, uh, now we need to uh, get out of here. So let's head on over to Aurelio. I guess the prince went home or something. Or, well, he is home, so I'll just tell you. So. Oh, hmm. well, maybe we should check that out. Hmm. Well, I'm sure that's not important. There's people talking about lights all the time, just like the last village we to, and uh, there was no, uh, I didn't see any, uh, what is it, not Sinistral, uh, Super Being there. So anyway, yeah, you gotta talk to him here, and he opens the water gate for you. Alright, thanks a lot. But if you talk to him again, and he'll give you the VIP card, which you need to, uh, check out the VIP room at, uh, Forfeit there. So, sure, why not, let's check it out. I got a little bit of time for today. I'm not, I'm not going to do any gambling while I'm there, but, well, I might as well show you for those who forgot. But yeah, now that we've opened the water gate there, we can pretty much explore the entire world. I mean, there's a couple places that we can't explore because they're surrounded by mountains or reefs or, I, I, or uh, natural obstacles that we'll never be able to get past. But, you know, other than that... Mark Cow. What is a Mark Cow, anyway? Or is that just, like, a name for the place? I don't know. But anyway, now that we have the VIP card, we can get in here. I guess it's like a key or something. Ah. I guess only the, uh, the rich are able to get in here. Huh. Uh, yeah, I know how to play. What do you get to play here? Five card stud? 
Uh, this must have been made before the World Series of Poker. Now everyone plays uh, Texas Hold'em. Oh. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. No, no. Okay, well that's everything we can do here, so now we're going to explore the rest of the world. How much money do I got anyway? Wow! I got a lot more money from that dungeon than I thought I would get. But there's no what possible way I could spend that much money on weapons and equipment in all the towns in the world. Can I? Find out next time on Let's Play Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day, viewers. And let's get back to Aurelia. There we go.